examination of the hip is very important to pick up signs of developmental dysplasia of the hip even though it's not a common problem it's very important not to miss it because over time uh, it may worsen it's also important to explain to the family that uh, this is a developmental dysplasia so it progresses with time you may not be able to pick it at birth and it may present in the next few months so one check at birth doesn't rule out and it needs, uh, if there are any concerns or risk factors, you should continue to monitor the child's hips at follow. -up. So we normally refer for hip ultrasound if there is a breach presentation because the baby is not moving the hip as well in the womb and there may be space constraint the way the hip is held. So the hip joint, it's a ball and socket type of joint. So the socket doesn't form normally in these situations and may increase the risk of dislocation. If there is a family history where there's a first degree relative with developmental dysplasia of the hip, it puts this baby at risk as well. Female babies are at higher risk. And if you have abnormal clinical examination, uh, it also puts you at risk. So we have to do the screening. Some countries like Germany do universal hip screening with ultrasound, but it's not cost effective. And uh, in the UK, as well as many other countries, it's a screening based on risk factor as I've specified. When we examine the hips, we can keep this uh, uh, short form as a uh, clue that Barlow's dislocates the hip which is in the joint and Ortolani reduces the dislocated hip. So you can say BDOR to remember. So the Barlow test is basically uh, done with uh, the adduction of the hip and pushing backwards and Ortolani test is uh, abducting uh, adducted hip and pushing uh, forward uh, the scale truck enter forward so your hand has to be behind the hip joint and you'll be pushing forward when a hip which is in joint will come out so it's you feel it as a clunk the hip examination has to be performed last because it's uncomfortable for the baby and it's also uncomfortable for the parents who are observing it so you do need a little force when you do the barlow's test but don't be too forceful and repeated testing, even if there is a clunk, is not advised because that can also be uh, not ideal. So we explain to the parents the need for follow-up. The ultrasound is usually done after three to four weeks of age because in the first one to two weeks, the maternal progesterone, which has a relaxing effect on the mother's hips, has a relaxing effect on the baby's hips as well. So we let that effect wear off. And majority of the time, uh, the result is normal. Sometimes the shallow joints may need monitoring. Uh, 